Hey everyone, welcome to the Edutrix channel. Today we are diving into the powerful Kubernetes IDE called Lens. We'll cover how to install, configure, and explore a few use cases for Lens, specifically connecting it to an AKS cluster. What is Lens and why do we need Lens? Lens is a Kubernetes IDE that allows you to connect to any Kubernetes cluster, which will simplify your workflow by enabling you to manage and monitor your Kubernetes resources directly from the Lens interface, rather than logging into each environment separately. So you can add multiple clusters of your Kubernetes onto single IDE. Let's get started by setting up Lens to connect to an AKS cluster. In order to achieve this, you will need to install a couple of prerequisites first. I'll guide you step by step. The first prerequisite is install Azure CLI. So to install Azure CLI, first we have to download Azure CLI from Microsoft and install it. To download Azure CLI, search for Azure CLI download in Google. You will see a Microsoft page, something like this. On this page, you will find a download link, a couple of download links based on your computer. You will have to select which Azure CLI you need to install. So I have already downloaded the 64-bit Azure CLI on my computer and installed it. That's the reason I'm, go I'm not going to show you how to download and install, but it is very simple like any other download, Windows download and install process. So the next prerequisite to install is cube login. To download Cube Login, you have to again search in Google, Cube Login Download. So you will find a GitHub Cube Login release page, something like this. In that page, you will find different Cube Logins for different environments, different machines. Since my machine is running on Windows, I have downloaded Windows 64 zip file when you click this button it will download you this zip file zip file once it is downloaded it is basically not an installable it is just an exe file so you unzip that exe file go to bin folder you will find cube login exe file copy that exe file okay then put it in the dot azure folder This folder will get created in your previous step. When you install Azure CLI, this dot Azure will Azure folder will get created under your user directory. So copy cube login exe file in the same directory. So these are the two prerequisites before we install and configure Let's. So just to make sure these two are installed and configured properly, the, the prerequisites you can execute a couple of commands and verify whether the installation was successful or not. So open your command prompt, execute a command called az. az is nothing but Azure basically. It will show you an output, something like this. Welcome to Azure and, and a word like this. So that means your Azure CLI was installed successfully. So you can also execute another command, kubectl. So that will also output you something like this, okay? And, and it, it explains different parameters that can be used with uh, kubectl command. So that means kubectl is also working fine. So our prerequisites are fine. So the next thing is, download 
and configure lens let's first download lens to download lens you have to go to official page of lens this is the official page to download lens kubernetes lens.da so you need to go to this selection box and select your environment so i have already downloaded windows 64 exe to install lens so go ahead and install lens so when you download you will get it will get it's downloaded to your download directory something like this okay to so go ahead and install it is like any other normal windows install the tricky thing is it won't get activated after your installation so what you have to do is you have to create an activation id by logging into this website the official lens website so log in with your uh, email account if it is for your personal use if you are using lens in any of your organization your organization might have already purchased it so you don't need to do the activation so if you are using it on your personal computer so you have to log in create your account your id activation id so then your lens will get activated automatically so another important note here is your login id should match i mean your when you are registering with this website your id should match with the login id of your computer for example i logged into this computer using this id right so this should match with the login id of lens official website then only it gets auto activated automatically if you use other id like your gmail id your personal id which has a different naming convention then it won't get activated so please make a note of it so once it gets activated once you install lens and it's get activated you just go ahead and open lens i just close it and open lens again Yeah, this is how how you see as soon as you open lens this is just lens but i have not connected to any cluster of aks to connect to any kubernetes environment from lens you need a file called kubeconfig so where do you find this file and what is that file that file basically will contain all your kubernetes environment details with your login permissions with your credentials etc so you can ask for that file from your kubernetes team or if you have access to the portal you can also generate it yourself due to security reasons of my organization i cannot show how to log in and generate that file but I, I can show you a screenshot where you can find some commands so as soon as you log in for example i logged into azure portal so as soon as you log in you select the cluster that you want to connect to suppose say i am trying to connect to this dev cluster okay once you click on that one you will see a connect button after create button click on connect button it will open another pop up window like this then you select azure cli tab there are two to three tabs here select azure cli tab you will see four commands like this okay copy this command from this clipboard okay click on clipboard copy az login come to your command prompt execute az login okay so this will 
this command will take you to the login page of your portal enter your credentials again and login so here it will show successfully logged in then go to the page portal again copy the second command okay this will basically take you to your subscription subscription is nothing but your your cluster was created under some subscription with microsoft so execute the second command okay the command will look like this for example the second command will look like this az account set iphone iphone subscription and your subscription id okay go to the same page again copy the third command as it is come to the command prompt paste it execute it so this will basically assign your credentials to the config file so it is like the aks az aks get credentials your resource group resource group name cluster name and if it is already there it will it will override the existing one so execute these three commands after executing these three commands a file called config will be created under your user directory because you have executed your commands on this directory so it creates a dot cube folder dot cube folder under which a config file like this okay so that file we will give input to our lens to our, to open our aks cluster to connect to our aks cluster so go to lens okay here you will see local kubernetes cube configs local local cube configs select the plus button okay select your config file that you have just generated using those three commands config so as soon as you select that you will see an entry like this so that was the config file of my dev environment so if you are successfully connected it will show you if you expand this button it will show you all your components of your aks cluster due to some restriction i could not connect to my aks cluster but luckily lens has given us an option or it directly connected to a demo kubernetes cluster i don't know whether it is aks or eks or what kubernetes environment i'm not sure but this is the procedure to connect to aks cluster so in this demo cluster i'll show you how the components looks like and uh, what do we do from lens on that kubernetes cluster so basically if you see you can see the overview of the cluster you can see all the applications nodes that are available on this cluster etc but usually we'll go to workloads okay and see all our pods deployments our stateful sets etc i'll show you a few activities that we commonly perform on lens one of this would be like if you click on pods you will see all the available pods under all the names namespaces that are created on this cluster so if you see you can you can filter it out by namespaces if you click on this namespace button it will show you all the namespaces but if you want to go to a specific namespace select those okay so uh, the namespace that i have selected four namespaces and i see these pods under those namespaces so what do you do with these pods if you move right there is a three dot button for each pod you will see different options like you can log into shell of this pod and perform other activities you can also check the logs of these pods you can also restart the pod by deleting it if you delete a pod here it will automatically stop and start on a new instance so you can restart you can check the logs you can edit the pod you can log into shell also this is about the pod so if you want you can do the same on deployments also go to deployments so all the pods will have deployments here for each pod you will see the same three dot button here so you can also restart you can also delete 
important thing is you can also scale up or scale down your deployments if you want to increase the number of replicas just click on this plus button okay two three or four whatever the number you want to so it will increase the instances of those deployments you can also scale down click on scale it will apply the number that you have selected here okay that is on the deployments uh, you can also see all the network settings you can also the ingress controllers you can also see services etc you can also edit it, edit edit all your services dynamically from here other useful thing that i would like to share is you can copy files from your pod to your local computer or from your local computer to the pod using kubectl commands i cannot execute those commands unfortunately here but i can explain how the command looks like so you can try it on your kubernetes environment if you want to copy something from loc from your pod to local suppose say i have i have my pod like cards from this pod from a directory if i want to copy a file from the directory to my local computer for any reason like i have enabled my trace so i i, I need to download that trace file into my local and look at or uh, troubleshoot it properly look at the read the logs properly then i need to download the trace file on the local just as an example so for example this is your trace file demo.local so i need to execute this kubectl copy command the command syntax looks like this kubectl hyphen l namespace namespace of the pod cp is the copy pod name you can find the pod name here if you click on the pod if you click on the pod you will see the pod name you can just click on the click button or, or you can copy it like this also. so that is your pod name colon path to the file on the pod suppose say my demo file is under the pod in this direct okay you have to mention the absolute path of the file then output file name with what file name you want to download it on your local computer okay this is the path of your local computer dot slash is like wherever i run this command it gets downloaded with this name on that path for example i copy this command i'll execute it here okay if you run this command so this demo.log file will be downloaded to this directory in the same way if you want to upload something from your local computer to pod you can execute this command kubectl cp hyphen n namespace of the pod the source so source is the path of our local computer directory of the file then pod name colon path path in the in the shell of the pod where you want to upload the file so this is again an example of uploading a file from local computer to the pod that's all i wanted to cover in this session about installing on configuring lens for a case cluster i hope you find it useful and if you have any questions please feel free to comment in the comment box if you like the session please like share and subscribe thank you